So we have four different families in here. And now I'm going to do another schedule. So I'll right click on schedule, new schedule, scroll down to specialty equipment. OK. And I'm going to add those parameters. Now you can see we've got height here, we've got length. Uh, scroll down a little bit more, we've got parameter A, and we've got width. So all of those parameters that I added previously are now available for me to use because the project can read them because they are a shared parameter. So I'm going to click on length, add that, and we're going to add height and width and parameter A. And I'm going to go ahead and add the mark as well and the type mark. Now I'm going to move these up in the schedule because this is what determines the, uh, the order of the columns on the schedule. We'll make the width the first of the dimensions and then parameter A will come in last here. Now I'm not going to do anything special with this schedule. This is just to demonstrate um, using data in these files. So here's our schedule. And so this information is being read from the family in this project environment. And so if you need to get any information like this out of a family, this is how you have to do it. And this is how you have to do it in order to have a schedule in a project environment.